Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? And in this episode, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can actually enjoy career mode because I've realized that once you start a season, right, sometimes um, you can just get bored of it in like three seasons and like you just can't be asked. And like even when you promote young players and stuff, you still can't be asked. They never like reach the potential, like up to like 94 or whatever it is. In this episode, I'm going to be telling you guys how to make it more enjoyable, realistic, and shit. And this is for all career modes actually. I know this is FIFA 17, I'm using it as an example, but this can be applied to all career modes, like 18, 19, whatever the fuck. But anyway guys, let's just get into it. First guys, one of the best ways to enjoy career mode is by starting with a lower league team or just a, a team with a really low budget because, you know, you can start from the very bottom and take them to the very top. For example, Bastia, you can make them the best team in France and that's more enjoyable than, you know, making Chelsea winning the Champions League or whatever because Chelsea's, you know, they've won the Champions League before and it's just like boring after like one season. Whereas Bastia, you know, you could be developing the team to throughout the years because one they're not that good in real life and also in the game as well because you know you have to like improve the squad a lot especially if you want them to like win the champions league or the league so yeah you just develop these kind of teams like from the start to the bottom and get to the top and like you know it's just more fun where you buy and sell players and there's gonna be more transfer negotiations and shit whereas like chelsea you just buy one big world-class player and because that's all you need because you know your team's gonna have world-class players anyway and this is the first way guys start with lower league teams or just teams with low budget because you know it's gonna be really hard but that is the point you want it to be hard because if it's easy you know after two seasons that is why you get bored next up guys it is when you start with an average team this is when you find lower league teams way too like challenging or whatever you just want you want to have a challenge but not too much of a challenge so that is what like an average team is for example nice in the french league i know i've been using like french teams as examples but nice whatever you know a team that's been doing amazing last season with like you know producing really nice players you know dalbert john michael silly cyprian all these like you know young amazing players and let's not forget balotelli but you know they're not the best team in france because you know psg but well, marseille if you want to say it, and like leon these teams are like way above like Nice, even though they've had a really great season. They're not known to be that that good anyway. But the point is, guys, Nice is basically an average team that you could basically take them to the top, winning the Champions League, the league, all the top division trophies and stuff like that. And also, guys, playing with a team like this is not like it's going to be that easy anyway because, you know, there's a lot of places that you can improve and you can still implement the youth squad and, you know, younger players and shit like that. And you can even choose and only use the youth squad and just buy like really players that are really young or you know like from the same nationality or whatever if you like and we move on next up guys it is realistic transfers and here you can see another screenshot of what i've done with my other few career moves that is cadiz and ac milan as you can see i have signed this player from the colombian league called john marimon in the cadiz career mode and this guy is only 70 rating at the age of 21 in this you know point of career mode he starts at 17 and 61 or something like that but this is a realistic transfer because you know i'm signing players from the colombian league you know young prospect not many people's heard of him but you know got him on a cut value as well 800k and his value is 1.5 mil another example is Vidal for pizarro as you can see 17 million but you know from the mexican league guadalajara you know four million plus batalia you know that's a really nice deal because he came in at 81 rated and the player that i sold him for was like 77 rated so you know that's another thing and another amazing transfer guys as you can see pablo sarabia Sevilla got relegated in the spanish league i don't know how but they got relegated so i got to sign this guy for 13 million and look at his overall and his value guys 13 million for 27 rated 84 rated you know right midfielder that's amazing because all the players you know value like transfer values and budgets have been reduced for example as you can see 15k like what the hell that's literally nothing and he's world class moving on we have another example on the ac milan career mode as you can see nicola barella on loan from real madrid another young italian prospect you know to try and make the career mode interesting purely because milan does that in real life where they sign young italian players and like use them in the team for example brian costante is an example moreover guys we have another example with milan danilo the cdm or centre mid that's from braga you know milan do sign these young amazing brazilians from these leagues out of nowhere <coughs> um yeah stuff like that so yeah so guys try and make the career mode really realistic by signing players you know that you think that would join the club or just you know really young players from different leagues and try and make them world class or whatever another way you can make the career mode more interesting is by starting with any team but i recommend lower league teams because you know they're the best and you would want to use just youth players as you can see here are like an example of my youth squad from the cadiz career mode and like you know there are amazing players that i, I got and like 
some of them are actually world class guys even in the Milan current Hachini five star skills and weak foot 21 years old but 82 rated or something like that and in the Cadiz career mode guys Breno Fernandes this guy you know number 10 he can play number 8 centre mid attacking mid you know this guy's a beast you can find these hidden gems from the youth squad and you can, you can literally just use them and that's it no you know actual transfer negotiations or whatever so yeah that's another way you can make career mode more fun and guys one of the best ways to make career mode interesting is implementing real life football into FIFA like tactics youth nationality and I'll show you guys what I mean by that for example you guys can f sign players from the same league as you can see in the Cadiz career mode I bought this Giorgio Carrasco guy and he was in the second division of the Spanish league playing for Sevilla Atletico and at the time he was like 70 rated or whatever and when I got promoted into La Liga you know I bought this guy from the second division like the real world class teams do in real life for example Tottenham signed Deli Alley and he was playing for MK Donaldson and at the, at the time he, was, he scored like 20 goals from midfield or whatever so like at the time you know he was highly rated but no one really knew him that well just like that I bought this Jorge Carrasco guy and now he's turned on to be amazing 90 dribbling 77 rated and 21 years old you know absolutely amazing so you guys can buy players from the same division and you know other divisions even for example like for example like the Mexican league has so many young amazing players like Erika Aguirre the right back you know Cesar Montes has centre back a lot Lozano like players like that I know Lozano's probably left now to PSV but you know you guys get the point you just buy like young players from like hidden leagues or just hidden teams in general and you know just make them more class I mean the tactics guys you guys can see here like I've chosen the high pressure system you can actually apply your own tactics as well but you know high pressure is a really nice system for the career mode because the AI gets fucked in like three seconds so I use that and personally I think it's the best tactic but you guys can even customize yourself and like you know make the career mode yourself not just like the AI playing it for you or like doing things for you the more you can customize the better because that way it feels more personal you get me and last but not least guys the best way to make career mode interesting is by increasing the difficulty because I see so many people playing on like amateur and like no actually not amateur actually that's a bit over exaggerating but like difficulties like professional and stuff and they just keep winning like the league and shit like every single year and they complain like oh yeah everything's too easy but like guys just try increasing the difficulty from professional to world class if you keep winning and see if you can still beat the CPU if not you know you're fucked but yeah so increasing the difficulty you know it makes the game really challenging and just more fun in general and if you already play in legendary and keep winning trophies one after another just be like a one star team and just try and kill yourself because you know that's one other way you can make the career mode interesting actually no that doesn't sound interesting that just sounds like death but <laughs> that's it for this video guys thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and please make sure to let me know what you thought of this video and that's it for this video guys take care stay safe and see you guys later